to my channel, Everyday I'm Mothering, and our next activity in our Halloween activity series. And today we are making Halloween Oblek. And if you've never made Oblek before, it's a really neat substance that turns from solid to liquid and kids love to play with it and it's really easy to make. So all you will need is water, some food coloring to make it Halloween orange or green, some cornstarch, and then you'll want some fun things to play with. So I found these little skeleton buckets and these little shot glass type things from the dollar store, as well as all of these eyeballs and spooky spiders and skeletons just to add in and make it seem more Halloween-ish. And this is a really easy activity. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I was gonna do 31 days and I haven't posted in a little bit. We had some water damage to our house, so things have been a little crazy, but I'm finally able to share one of the activities we did before everything went crazy at our house. So to do this, you'll probably wanna do it outside because Oblek can get pretty messy if it gets on your floor. So we just put out a blanket and it cleans up really easily. So you'll just add your food coloring to your water first. Don't add it to your cornstarch because it'll be very difficult to mix up. So just put your <laughs> food coloring face. in your water, shake it up, then put your cornstarch in your bowls. And I got these bowls from the dollar store. Now they're not really sturdy, so one did end up cracking for this, but it was perfect because we just tossed it out afterwards. But you'll wanna put about a whole cup and a half of cornstarch, and you can play with this a little bit. Theoretically, the ratio should be about two to one, but we always end up having to add a little bit more water and a little bit more cornstarch till we get where we want it, where you can actually scoop it up. It's a little bit hard and it still will turn soft, but you don't want it to be too liquidy. So you can see here, I'm adding in the water and then we'll start to mix it together. Now I do put gloves on the girls because it is the food coloring, especially when you first start mixing it, but you will probably have to get in and mix it yourself. It's a little hard for the kids to really do it. You need to really squish down on the sides and get the cornstarch from the bottom to mix in with the water. So they'll definitely need some help at first, but you can see here how liquidy it is until you start to mix it in. And then just add a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit of water as you need until you get the consistency that you'll start to see here. And here you can see how easily it does flake off once it dries. So especially on a blanket like this, we just flaked it off and we could put it right back in. And then I was able to wash everything at the end, including their clothes, and it all came right out. So then you'll want to add in any of your add-ins once you have a good consistency and then everyone can start playing. My eyes. <laughs> my the creatures ate my hands off. They came back. If your children have never played with Oblek before, some of the things you'll want to suggest that they do is put their hands in really slowly and it will sink into the liquid, but then try to lift it up really quickly and it's hard so you'll lift the whole bowl. Also, if you punch hard like Adeline is here, it will seem hard to your kids, but when they put their hands in slowly, it turns to liquid. They can also try to make hard balls to pass around with a little pressure and see how quickly it will melt. And then my toddler absolutely loved trying to scoop things up and seeing how hard it was with the little containers, but then how it would turn to liquid as she poured it out. It's a salad. It can be two things. I 
gonna make a big Halloween ball. Like a ball. You have to have lots and lots of pastel. So melted. Ooh, my girls ended up playing with this for probably over an hour they absolutely love whenever we make this stuff and it's really pretty easy and even like you saw here you can clean it up very easily it comes out of everything but I do like to still just do it outside and on our little blanket thank you everyone for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out the rest of the videos in this series bye everyone